PLC Network here at CES 2019. I'm standing with Scott here. Uh, and this is at the EcoVax booth. That's something we're actually going to be talking about uh, just soon, coming up shortly, about one of their robots here, yeah. uh, which happens to be one we're actually standing in front of now. Scott, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I am doing fantastic. Thanks for your time. Yeah, no problem. So what what are we looking at with this? Uh, we have a vacuuming robot here, obviously, that does more than just vacuum. There's something, uh, What what make, really the, what we, we want to know is what makes this more exciting than you know some of the competition. Sure. So there's a couple of different things that are unique to EcoVax. Uh, number one, we this, this robot, the 930, which you guys are currently looking at and reviewing, uh, is both a vacuuming and a mopping robot. So it's kind of a two-in-one type of an idea. Um, and the other big thing is, is that we use LiDAR uh, technology, which is laser, same as an autonomous driving car. Uh, we use that on the 930 uh, to drive and in uh, provide intelligence and navigation. So the robot knows where to go in the house, where not to go in the house. Okay. Uh, and it cleans more efficiently, quicker, faster. Uh, so on and so forth, right? You get a better consumer experience. And what we were, we were seeing a demo earlier, we can see that it actually vacuums and mops at the same time. So that way it, it makes sure it picks up any of that stuff on the vacuum, ground before... It vacuum, sweeps and vacuums in front, mops in the back. Very nice. And when you put it into a mopping mode, it automa automatically detects carpet? Am I right? It, that's right. It does. It, it, that way it does. We don't want to drag a wet mop across your carpet. Of course. Uh, so, yes, it, it detects carpet and stays away from the carpet, the boundary of the carpet, whenever it's mopping. And the, in the app control, uh, you can control the flow of the water. So if you've got a little bit dirtier floor, you can have a little bit more water, a little bit less water, and you know it's all it's all customizable for you, for you and your household situation. Perfect. And this uh, the 930 is available right now. It is available yes. today. Okay. And where can our viewers actually find more information about it? And, uh, obviously, the Ecovax website. Ecovax.com. You can go uh, Best Buy, Amazon, Target. Okay, so there you go. So this is the 930. Now you actually have something newer to talk about this year as well. We do. We have uh, <clears throat> we have some brand new technology that that is going to revolutionize the cleaning environment. So today we've done a lot of research the past year or so uh, on our consumer habits, um, and about a third of customers, um, about 30 percent or so, say that they aren't sure if they're going to buy a robotic vacuum because of the fact they feel that they need to pick up their house, the objects off the floor, Absolutely. You know, before I can go vacuum. So for me, I've got two kids, eight and 10 year old, and I'm gonna be picking stuff off the ground all the time. Of course, right? you got so, socks, shoes, change, exactly. everything. There you go. Yep. So what we've done is we've actually developed the first artificial intelligent robot that drives, it's driven off of AI for from an intelligent standpoint. And then we also have added visual uh, interpretation or object recognition uh, into it and we combine it with the AI and uh, and I can show you a quick demo but the idea is that now the robot will be able to see wires socks shoes things that are on the floor and then stay away from them and navigate around so at the end of the day we uh, <clears throat> our fan, right, we can still launch the robotic vacuum, clean the house, even if we didn't pick up all the kids' toys. Perfect. So it, it, it can actually identify each and every individual object. Like if it sees a sock, it'll know that's a sock and completely avoid it. That's correct. And I can even show it to you. Perfect. So let's go take a look at that. So what we have here is the 960 now. Yeah, this is the new IV technology. So this is DBOT IV technology. And okay. IV stands, it's AIVI which is artificial intelligent visual interpretation. Okay. Okay. So this can so this is the one that we can actually take something and throw it in front of it and it's going to yeah, automatically so, detect it. Exactly. So uh, the idea here is again just as we were mentioned uh, if you know you don't you don't pick up everything off your floor sometimes the robot gets stuck or you know gets tangled in cords things like that. So uh, as a demo uh, we've got uh, some power cords right here and you'll see here on the camera if I throw the well Probably go. Oh, there it There it up. goes. Yeah. And it was so it's just said recognizing. So it's just bit, right? waiting to look for stuff, pretty much. So it's always in that mode. Correct. It's always kind of in an observe. So, so the screen here now shows that it's a wire. It actually detected that it is a wire. So it'll, so if you put the sock there, the shoe here, anything like that, it's yeah. going to detect put, that. Put your shoe up there. Well, really? Let's, okay. Yeah, let's set, do that. Set your shoe up there for All a right. quick second. And uh, it's gonna, instantaneously. It's so it sees the wire and it sees my shoe at the same time. It recognizes your shoe. Okay. The other thing is, is that it recognizes the distance of the space okay. okay, and the distance away from 
the wire that the robot is, it now knows how far I can go and where I have to go around to clean, to make sure I still clean, but go around and miss that. Perfect. That way you can get really good at deep accuracy out of that without having to sacrifice too much space because and, there's an object sitting again, there. And again, the real idea here is comes to how can we benefit the consumer, right? How can we help make it easier on the consumer? Uh, so now the idea that you don't have to clean before you clean, <laughs> yep. that's, that's kind of what we're working off for. Absolutely. This is really great. And when does this come out? When does this, this hit the market? This will be out mid-year. Mid-year. Yeah. Do we have any pricing information on this? Uh, not yet. It'll be, it'll be sub $1,000, uh, but it'll be mid-year. Okay. And how does that compare to the, uh, the 930? Like, how much was the 930 uh, in terms of what we can expect if we looked at it right now? Uh, the 930 is 699. 699. Yes. Okay. So um, this is really cool. That's really cool. You also have more than that. So if you're living in a house that has a lot of pollutants, like smoking or smokers, we'll say, um, you actually have a robot to help with that as well. So right. So we're a robotics company, <clears throat> uh, and at the end of the day, we've got air purification robot that we're launching. And I think, as you mentioned, for smoking, but I think uh, what most people probably relate to now is allergens. Yes. Uh, allergens are really so, you know, something that can bother us in our daily lives, our children. Um, you know, I live on the West Coast, I live in California, and we have fire season every year. Yep. Um, right? You know, so different things like that, uh, helping provide clean, clean air in the house, okay? And I'll show you a demo, but uh, it's funny, but, uh, for my two kids, when I'm trying to cook for them, uh, my daughter likes to tease me because I burn some stuff sometimes, uh, and uh, and I can have the air purification robot come into the kitchen, pull the smoke out of the kitchen, cleans all that up. Dad for you. burns dinner, nice, and uh, and my daughter may not know, and I don't get blamed. There you go. Okay, <laughs> see that's something nice to have to have around. I mean, this is kind of cool. This is kind of like walking into the uh, cantina bar or something in Star Wars, <laughs> yeah. and you got all these little robots rolling around all over the place. Right, you right, know, right, so right, right, right. So let's go take a look all at right, that. I want to see this cool. in action. All right. So. We have a, a container here filled with smoke and your robot sitting in here. So how, does, how is it going to respond to this? I see that the light just went from blue to red on the top here. So does that mean it's, it's noticing the smoke? Yeah, so it's noticing the air, the air quality uh, is not right. So, so it, it detects allergens, uh, it can clean mold. Um, it, right at the end of the day, what it did, the idea is that it maps your home using the LiDAR that we mentioned, like yeah, on the same Osmo thing on 930. The 930. Yep. Exactly, same technology. We map out the room of the, of the house, so we understand where bedrooms are and where kitchens are for smoke, things like that. Um, and then the idea is that it measures the air quality in every single room and then it knows the rooms that have air, air lower air quality and it goes and cleans the air in those rooms first, uh, comes back around and, and again if you have a, a child with you know, allergens or sensitivities or things like that, uh, right, then you can dedicate it and you can tell it to go do certain things. Perfect. So that, that, that actually worked really quickly right there as this whole thing was filled and it, didn't, it only took a matter of seconds. I yeah, see it's it, green it, now. What does <clears throat> green mean? And, and that's again the, the air quality sensor okay. saying that, okay, now that air is now clean and it's good to go. Okay, wow. Okay. Now it's blue. Okay, so when, it, uh, when you actually, like you were saying, when you burn food, yeah. you know, you can actually pull out <laughs> your phone and trigger it to come over here. You know, it happens. Yeah. We all do it. Yeah, uh, yeah. You can actually tell it to manually come in and be like, hey, could you clean this up for me? Yeah, I can, I can even use voice. You can do voice <laughs> so as can, well. Because okay. every, every single robot we build, including our Atmobot, uh, are all voice controlled as well. Okay. Everything is smart home controlled as well. Every single robot we build. Uh, so including this, I can, while I'm even burning dinner, <laughs> my daughter's going to love this, by the way. But even while I'm burning dinner, I can just say, Atmobot, can you please come and clean the kitchen? Nice. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's, that's more, instant. More like, it's, help. Help, yeah, please. Help, come. please, <laughs> yeah, come in. Something like that, So right. what if it's like on its own, it's just kind of cruising around the house, you know, mapping its way around, and it notices something like that, would it automatically kick in and yes. start cleaning it up? Yep, it okay. will. It will. And if it sees smoke like that, would it, would it ever alert you by chance? So we're working on a couple of different ideas, uh, maybe longer term business models. Okay. Um, and at the moment, nothing to announce, but there's there's a lot of creative stuff. Well, there's a lot of places to go from this. And exactly. Now the only thing you need is a humidifier or something like that, so you can shoot some steam out of this thing as well. Some mist. Humidification, yep. humidification. Maybe that'll be next year as world well. World of opportunities. Yep. Absolutely. This, that's pretty cool. Um, you have one more thing on top of that, though. We that, got another uh, another type of robot. One more robot. So just in case that wasn't enough, you got to fill that cantina bar with one more for windows now. Yep. So this, I've got a window cleaning. I, I'm lazy. Right. Uh, so at the end of the day, 
uh, the idea of I don't like to clean my windows. Uh, I also live, uh, I, like I said, I live on the West Coast. Um, a lot of trees in my backyard, and my windows get really, really dirty. Um, so I value uh, something that helps me do do a little bit of those chores, little of those extra chores. So yeah, I've got a window cleaning robot that takes about four minutes or five minutes and it'll clean a window and you move it to the next window and the next window and, and I can clean all my windows while watching a Sunday football game and be done. That is fantastic. So Never get off literally, the couch. <laughs> you walk in your house, you have robots running around doing everything for you. I mean, this is kind of something like 10 years ago we joked about, you know, saying that one of these days we're going to be able to replace all of this with a robot <laughs> instead of, you know, waiting to the day you have kids and be like, all right, great, finally have somebody to do this for me. Now you just have a Star Wars scenario taking care of it that stress is off of your shoulders. You can re worry about real life situations and uh, not have to worry about it and be able to control everything with your voice or an app. This is fantastic. Go and check him out. viewers are all, you know. Yes, so. yeah, you need one of these. You need all of these, you know, but go check him out. Go to ecovax.com. Go see what they have. Go check out the 930. There might be something that you might need in your house today or wait for the 960. Maybe you need one of these. Go find out. And of course, uh, again, uh, is this available right now? This is not available. Not available, available right mid, now. Mid year as well. Mid year as well. Correct. But same avenues, uh, uh, market. So on your website, Amazon, Best Buy, things yep. like that. Yep. And uh, do we have a price point yet for this? Uh, not yet. Okay. We're, so we're still looking at the market a little bit. Um, yeah, but, but we'll, we'll have it out shortly. Okay. So go check it out then. We'll TBD this and then uh, come follow back maybe a little bit later and see if there's any new news once it does release. Sounds good. That's but great. again, go check them out, ecovax.com. Scott, it's been a pleasure. Yeah, pleasure. Thanks Absolutely. for coming by. If you want to stay on top of all the latest and greatest and or at least the gadgets we cover, remember to subscribe right here. Subscription button. Click it. You're going to want to. There's lots of videos, interviews, previews, all sorts of stuff. Button. Click it.